And good morning. We begin with breaking news in North Texas, where at least six people have died when a tornado touched down. Firefighters using flashlights are now going house to house looking for anyone still trapped. ABC's Jim Ryan reports from the hard hit town of Granbury. This storm rolled in from the southwest and tornado sirens started blaring just before sunset. Witnesses say pea-sized hail soon turned to baseball-sized. And then hailstones the size of grapefruit were pounding a subdivision near the town of Granbury, not far from Fort Worth. Rancho Brazos is a subdivision of Hood County that's south of Granbury, about, about three miles, by the way, the crow flies out there, I guess. And it was, there's about 110 homes in that residential area. I've been told that most all of that is in heavy damage to totally destroyed conditions out there. As paramedics were rushing into the area to treat dozens of injuries, school buses were pulling away, taking evacuees to churches that have been turned into shelters. Those people are telling stories of an extremely intense rain-wrapped tornado that's done extensive damage to neighborhoods. It's been a devastating year so far, and things now with the weather coming around, with tornado season, it's it, this particular night is not anything like I've ever seen. Even as rescue operations were getting underway, another storm was forming on the outskirts of town, prompting new severe weather warnings. Jim Ryan, ABC News, Granbury, Texas. So already at wow. least six people have died in this. We have 28 people, at least 28 people at the hospital. 14 of them are being treated for a wide variety of um, injuries here, lacerations, contusions, fractions. Um, Fractures, rather, and we have 100 people in area shelters. Yeah, 14 people still unaccounted for, mm. and you hope that they're in the shelter, you hope yes. that they're with relatives, and it's just, you know, it's a crazy night, and you hope that it's just a matter of locating them mm -hmm. and not anything worse than that, and the number of death, the deaths don't go up. By the way, additional storms did move through southern Oklahoma as well, where there's a lot of damage, a lot of poles toppled, a lot of power outages, so mm -hmm. just some wild stuff. Did you see the size of that hail? Yeah, and it was so fast moving. The good news is now the firefighters are able to move in and start looking through whatever rubble is left right. to see if there are people there and if they can save as many people as they can. Yes, what a night, what That's a morning. Right.